Welcome back again. I'm going to show you some of my solar figures and we're very happy with the generation of May. It's 941 kilowatt hours exported. Octopus paying me £148.23 and uh, we've only imported 149.25 kilowatt hours. We've averaged under 15p per kilowatt on um, Octopus Agile and they've charged 23.31. Here's a reminder, if you're new, I've got six panels on the southeast aspect, the front of the house, and 16 on the back of the house, which is northwest facing, a little bit controversial. And um, I, as you can see, we just have to work with what we've got. So that's my rear roof, which is northwest, and this is the front roof, which is southeast. And those are 430 watt uh, panels and I've got optimizers on the front if you want exact details you can go and see one of my previous videos um, a quick reminder that I want to share all the figures and be transparent so just pop some questions below if I don't cover anything or if I forget something and of course we've got a 8.8 kilowatt sunsink inverter and an export limitation of 6.5 kilowatts okay that's all the intro out of the way i want to answer a couple of questions in the next 10 minutes is the orientation of the panels or the surface area more important and is a home battery actually a waste of money and our total generation for the month of may as you can see 1135.2 kilowatt hours and this is how it stacks up our forecast we were forecast for 935 kilowatt hours and we are beating that happily um, interestingly uh, i should maybe put some breakdown here but our south east array is functioning is performing exactly as we would have expected from the forecast in um, pvgis and open solar etc but our northwest array is outperforming by quite some margin so that's where we're getting the big gains and that's where we're outperforming it january the reason once again if you're new to the channel that january was a little bit lower because we only had the system commission the last couple of days of january okay here's my export versus import you can see that january we imported imported 800 and what 801 kilowatt hours and uh, solar was not really online coming down to 431 coming down and you can see our export rising massively nice uh, linear linear line really isn't it um, and I expect that will start to plateau now we're into these months but uh, very happy to reach 941 and perhaps we will reach the magical one megawatt of exports in June. Uh, many people were interested in how the heat pumps go in so it's pretty much just doing hot water now so we only consumed 82 kilowatt hours of electrical energy and that generated 313 um, kilowatt hours of heat for us a reminder we're a family of five so probably using more hot water than most um, here are the individual days of generation you can see our very best day in the middle of the month 59.1 kilowatt hours shame we didn't quite make this the magical 60 but uh, still very happy with that the worst was right here at 10.5 so a real mixed bag and it was uh, these five six days in a row that was very confidence inspiring and then we had some poor days but at that point I thought wow we are going to have a great month a reminder that 73% of the surface area of the solar panels we have is on the northwest roof and 27% is on the southeast roof. That translates into these figures over here and um, the actual generation is we are seeing 68% of our generation coming off our, of our northwest roof and uh, that 777 kilowatt hours which is doing the lion's share. As you can see, an, a drop only from 73% of the surface area to 68% of the generation. Uh, per panel production, that breaks down as 60 kilowatt hours on our southeast panels, 49 kilowatt hours on our northwest panels. Uh, so what about our optimizers? They're only on our front facing roof because of the shading issue. I'll probably pop something in here so you can see earlier in the year we thought that the front gable would give some hard shading on those panels so we opted for the optimizers to be on the safe side kind of belts and braces approach but they are not really performing 
anything really. You can see we only reclaimed 4.1 kilowatt hours from our Tigo optimizers on the front six panels. And I presume that these are all DC figures because the AC conversion is done later at my inverter. So some of the other figures in here, like the export figures, are AC figures after the conversion, and some of these figures will be before the conversion. So it shows that um, we are well. This this is a little great uh, pie chart to visually demonstrate that only one percent of the power the energy generated from those solar panels is coming because of the optimizers 99 percent is non-optimized and here you can see a image this is from last month and that was about 3 p.m that showed that actually that hard shade in line the sun is just too high in the sky we just don't get the hard shade in that we thought we were going to get in the winter months the optimizers may perform more of a function and depending on your surroundings and trees and other bits optus my optimizers may be more useful to you than they are for me <clears throat> I do like the per panel monitoring though that's you know the data geek in me enjoys that um, so rule of thumb suggests that 50% of the generation if you're comparing north to south south facing panels will produce double that of north and I'm not actually seeing that but of course I've got perfectly northwest and perfectly southeast facing arrays but my northwest array is producing 68% of what the southeast is in a you know per panel panel to panel um uh comparison so we self-consumed 194 kilowatt hours do we need a battery well i said at the top that our import rate averaged at 14.9 kilo 14.9 pence per kilowatt hour and we exported 941.15 kilowatt hours at 15p per kilowatt hour so no is the answer we don't need a battery right now sure those things might change in the winter but it's working out very well for us. We don't have any conversion losses of a battery, which you would have when you charge it and discharge it. We are sending stuff straight out to the grid and um, we're building up a, quite, a, a, quite a comfortable buffer um, in the credit with Octopus Energy. This is our export. You can see the day-by-day -day build uh, production whatever i'm on the south coast of the uk as a reminder if you haven't seen my videos before i'm here in southampton so you can compare this to your own generation and you can see that we exported 83 percent of the generated solar energy and we can self-consume 17 percent of it that translates into 148 pounds of export and 49 pounds self-consumed if we're going to use the price cap rate anyway uh, a reminder that my strategy is only made possible through the smart tariffs available on octopus energy if you sign up you'll get 50 pounds i'll get 50 pounds but as i mentioned we haven't changed anything in our lifestyle and we've managed to pay just 14.9 pence per kilowatt hour for the month of june and we did a little bit better in may the rate rates were a little bit better so we are being paid more for the energy we're exporting than the energy that we are importing and all we do is set timers on our dishwasher and our washing machine to uh, function between 2 and 5 a.m which is the cheapest time so we can get as much cheap energy and of course our heat pump heats our hot water at that time as well otherwise we just live our lives um, you can see that uh, linear curve the green figures are the generation the yellow figures the yellow bars sorry are the export and uh, as i mentioned earlier that's probably going to plateau here's the overly optimistic sunsync app that thinks that we've reduced our co2 by nearly three tons already take that as a pinch of salt but you know everyone needs a pat on the back and to feel good about decisions here was our best day of generation green is the solar generation yellow is the grid export and then red is our cooking probably around about that time 
and um, that was the 15th and then on the 20th you could see we had a great morning there 6:40 a.m generating one kilowatt all the way down to 12:45, we were generating six kilowatt and the 50 50 split between the front and the rear array happened at 11 a.m so around about five kilowatts but this tailed off because usually this would have continued to grow up to seven kilowatts and finally my conclusion yes Fill your roofs as much as you possibly can. Surface area is critical. And depending on your usage and your strategy, home batteries are plummeting in price, in cost, and ease of installation is getting harder. They may not be a financially viable solution for you. As I am quickly con con concluding that my little concocted strategy of seasonal offsetting is going to work and is going to work out better and we're going to have a quicker payback and return on investment. Next month I am going to show you all my figures of how we're looking for our projected uh, return on investment and how that's going but it's looking good. That's all I'll say.